In healthcare industry, which is currently $65 billion, is expected to reach approximately $100 billion by 2015. To give you a per perspective about where the opportunities lie, if you look at the Indian healthcare industry itself, India, as you know, requires many doctors, many more beds, many more nurses, so the investment, as you can all imagine, is going to be very, very considerable. When we take the healthcare industry itself, we can all see it's massive. A yeah, part of that is, of course, the IT industry itself, which is what we are interested in. The IT section of the healthcare industry is expected to be approximately $250 million, but the good news is that it is one of the fastest growing market, and it is expected to grow approximately 22% every year. So based on all the statistics given and all the information that we have, it is very clear that this is one industry that offers what I would call a good target market because of the size and because of the growth and because of the importance of the industry itself. So where is all the money going when it comes to the IT sector itself in the healthcare industry? Most of the investments, as we can understand, will go towards patient care. The healthcare industry itself, the number one important item in the healthcare industry would be the patient. So obviously the patient would receive most of the money that is invested in the industry. So the money goes into purchasing equipment, diagnosis and curing patients, and of course, we have heard a lot during the last couple of days about telemedicine, video conferencing, and, and related items to help in the diagnosis of patients remotely. One of the other aspects of the IT healthcare industry is picture archiving and communication packs, which is a technology used for, say, x-rays, for scanning them, digitizing them, and storing them. Another aspect of the IT healthcare industry would be the HIS systems, healthcare information systems, which has also received a lot of importance or attention during the last uh, couple of days. And of course, anything that can improve the patient care, the, the response times, the speed with which we can respond to patients' needs, inquiries, etc., would also be something that we need to focus our energies on. In addition to these things, surprisingly what we find when we look at the IT sector of the healthcare industry is, itself is that a lot of the hospitals and institutions tend to spend a lot of money or invest a lot of money in equipment which will raise the profile of the institution in the marketplace in terms of being able to market themselves to the public at large. What does this mean? Go for the latest, go for the most sophisticated equipment that money can buy. So taking all these things into consideration, when we talk about return on investment, the goal of course is to make sure that when we make an investment into the IT sector of the healthcare industry that we get a positive return on investment, meaning that if we invest some money into it, we should be able to get more out of it. That's a no-brainer. So in order to achieve a positive return on investment, we have to make sure that in terms of the equipment investments or capital investment that we make, the money that the institution can get out of the investment that they, came, that they make will provide a greater return than the money that they have invested in. In doing so, you have to make sure that the equipment that you purchase because of the capital nature of these investments is well spent. Uh, many times the new equipment may not, may not be compatible with the older equipment, which means that you have two types of equipment, the older one which is not compatible, which means you will have to go through extra training and effort, 
in order to bring up the people and train them, train them up in, in them being able to use the newer equipment. So the, the current method whereby going for new equipment for the sake of having the latest or the greatest may not be exactly viable. The, the danger also is that patients who many times get attracted to institutions which claim to have the best equipment tend to also switch. So in trying to go for equipment, we remember there are other institutions which may also play the same game so that in making the investment, you may turn out to be your loser. So what is the need of the hour in terms of, as I said, in terms of making the investment, we have to be careful how the money is spent because as you know, institutions demand that any investment made provide them with adequate returns. So when investments are made many times, the investments are not really investments in the sense of the word because they tend to become expenses. They, they don't provide the returns because in making the investment, money is spent unnecessarily on items that don't provide continuous revenues. For example, we could be investing in automated equipments for collecting information, but if they had to be manually, manually collated and then manually sorted, then the fact that it was automatically collected doesn't make much of a sense. So the so it's very important to make sure that in, in, in acquiring equipment that uh, they all work well together, that we avoid what is commonly called fragmentation in the industry itself. The other thing is in going for some of the latest and greatest equipment, we have to avoid going for the latest in technology because technology in itself can cause disruptions. You have to train the people, you have to probably have support equipment and you make the systems that are used in the Western countries may not often be used here effectively because of problems with infrastructure and the lack of execution or implementation uh, speeds here in this country. So our recommendation is that in terms of being able to improve the return and investment that we go for what I would call the low-hanging fruits. Look at what we have. Make sure that you're able to improve the efficiency of a lot of the processes and systems that is available in the healthcare industry itself. So what is to be done? Avoid fragmentation, improve asset utilization. When you invest in new technologies and equipment, make sure that they are compatible and automate the workflow. So in summary, the recommendation that we have is instead of going for sophisticated equipment, go after the low-hanging fruit, try and make sure that what you have is properly utilized. Go for software that will help you to assess that the equipment that you have is properly used and make sure that the equipment that you get is all compatible and work well together. Thank you.